All right, guys. Before I shut my eyes, um, wanted to bring you an update on my mom's health. Um, as I sit here at about twelve o'clock at night, the dark, everyone's in bed. Um, it's not good. She's calling me. I don't know, after I visit her and I come home, she's calling me like a few hours later with panic attacks and everything. And then, like, I can't be with her all the time, as you guys know. Um, she does have a nurse. Um, but again, like I said, the nurse, you know, can only be there for so long. Um... <sighs> She's having a hard time eating her appetite. She's she's on a new chemo right now, uh, but her appetite is suffering, and she can't drink the water as much as she used to out of the... She drinks bottled water. Sometimes she never used to do. She used to drink a lot of Coke. Well, Pepsi, preferably. Um... She says she made food the other day and kind of put it to the side because she wasn't hungry. <laughs> she says that she does eat Jamaican patties. Um, she used to love to eat them, but then said that uh, now they're a turn off. And I know somebody claimed... That I sit at home all day and I make videos and, I, and you know who I'm talking about. And if y'all don't know, don't worry about it. One thing I want to say to you is you have no idea what you're talking about. To watch your mother wither away into nothing. To watch your grandmother previously, years before that, wither away to the exact same disease. I have seen my fair share of death. And I don't appreciate being attacked like that. I'm not going to mention the video nor the channel. But I will ask you guys to be wary of people out there who are trying to use that a little bit on me. Claiming I don't do nothing all day but sit at my place. When that's not true. I was with her all day today. I didn't have much to do today. I didn't have work today. So I decided to spend it with her. We talked. We sat together for a few hours. Her nurse, her nurse came and left. She's got a Bible. She's praying to God and... She's asking why is she suffering, and I told her that, you know, if there was no suffering, she wouldn't be praying to God through Jesus to help her through the pain. And sometimes you need to go through trials and errors in life and tests in life come out victorious now I'm not necessarily sure if she'll come out of this new, uh, victorious because of how far gone it is but the thing I look at is her relationship with the almighty she never had one now she's getting one so I'd like for all you guys who believe to pray for her and her salvation because I don't know how long she's here for and she's missing her grandkids terribly she's even told me that because they're doing different things but I may I, I, I'm, I'm worried about her and her mental state is not good. Uh, she called me. I think I talked about this, but no. She called me about 1 a.m. this morning with a panic attack. Walking out in the middle of the... Like, not in the middle of the street, but... 
walking on the street at 1, 1 in the morning to get some fresh air in a dangerous area. She has been approached before. Luckily for her, nothing happened. Now, again, like I said before, I can't be everywhere all the time. I'm trying my best, trying to tell her, trying to show her what to eat. She needs prayer and guidance in your prayers. I pray on a daily that she'll get whatever she needs to get through the Almighty. Now, I'm against the chemo because of what it's doing to her. And we're trying to pray. Trying to figure out what to do for her. She's weak. She's tired. (sighs) She keeps pushing. Guys, it's a dark night. My week has been pretty dark. My past few days have been pretty dark. And this is what I've been thinking about for the last little while. I'll try to upload videos periodically. But right now, my concentration is just not there for the videos I usually post. Talk to you then, guys.